Okay, hello everybody. Today we are going to be comparing the Olympus Viewer 2 to the Canon's uh, Digital Photo Professional. So, um, let's start off here. I've got them minimized. So, for example, uh, and also I'm going to tell you guys about what I think of the two. So, let me go to the Digital Photo Professional and go to Libraries and Pictures. And it'll be under beach pics, which is the same thing I've got. Whoops. So, um, and they are both an image editing and viewing thing. You can also, uh, I believe, edit and uh, you can edit and stuff for videos. Um, let's see. So the Olympus Viewer 2, how does that compare? Well, the Olympus Viewer 2 seems to have much, much more, uh, I guess, in-depth type things. Like, uh, for example, you can you can put different things like color, filter, monochrome, and sepia, sharpness, and for unsharp mask, which uh, I I believe increases contrast, like near shadows and stuff. And um, you can crop, resize, rotate and flip, red eye, which red eye you can do it three different ways, which one of the things that I find funny about the red eye portion is that if you were to go to manual, color for correction, red, green, and blue. Okay, how can somebody have like a, how can somebody get like a green eye effect or a blue eye effect? I've never heard of those effects. Neither has anybody else. So, like, uh, but then also another thing that I like about um, the, uh, like, let's say this thing. I, hold on, let me pull play. So the, uh, so to me it appears that the um, thing is much, much better in uh, Digital Photo Professional. So like for example, let me go to the brightness and contrast, increase the brightness, and notice on it how like the histogram is right here, right where my cursor is circling. So, watch this. When I increase the brightness, notice on it how I, notice on it how it changes after I go to the thing. With Digital Photo Professional, I change the brightness and it's as I'm adjusting. So that makes it a little bit easier for me. Then let's see, contrast. Like I said, this thing is kind of weird because of the fact that um, the Olympus Viewer 2, it gives you the thing after you uh, do the thing. So, let me increase the contrast on this, where I need it to be. Then let me compare the two. You may not necessarily notice the difference on your portion because of the fact that it's a little bit lower quality. So, Olympus Sphere 2 seems to do fairly well with the editing portion. But, um, let's see. Yeah, the Olympus Sphere 2 seems to do fairly well with editing. But, um, it does seem that the, uh, uh, Digital Photo Professional by Canon does seem to work much better. So, um, let me go to adjustment, revert to shot settings, which I like, because I don't have to keep hitting the undo, 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 I go to undo, 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 you know, just to get it back to the shot, and even then, it doesn't have, like, a revert to shot settings and stuff, so, um, I really like, like, the digital photo professional. So another thing is that you have a grid. It's uh, like what is interesting about this thing 
about the digital photo professional is that you can see the grid and you can kind of get an idea of exactly where your thing is placed, where you need to crop it, whatever, you know, and how you need to crop it. Because um, you can go to Toolplet, I believe it would be under, uh, maybe not under here. But one of the things that I don't like about Digital Photo Professional is that it's not necessarily on where you can do a whole bunch of things unless you have it in raw format. But also, all my photos that I've taken are from a different model of camera anyways. And, like, a different brand of camera anyways. Mine is an Olympus camera. The only way I'm not have, the only reason why I had the Digital Photo Professional is for the film class, the film instructor let me use the software. So, um... Let's see. Let me go back to that stuff. Um, digital Photo Professional. And like, for example, you may have seen with the histogram, the thing that, like, uh, well, let's see. Like I said, the Digital Photo Professional seems to do much, much better as far as its overall thing. The only problem though with the, with the whole thing is that when I go to computer OSC programmer files by 86 then I go to the Canon the can the digital photo professional plus if you look if I were to go to properties you would notice the whole thing is 333 megabytes. Oh, never mind. That's the Canon folder. That's the Canon folder itself. So, um, let me go to Digital Photo Professional Properties. And it's 70.8 70 megabytes for the software itself. And the size on disk is 72.3 megabytes. And it's got 562 different files in two different folders. So, um, then going to the Olympus, which should be down here, Olympus, and then the Olympus Viewer 2, if I were to go to properties on that, oh, I never realized this, but Olympus Viewer, oh, never mind, that's the whole thing itself. Why does it do that? But it does seem that Olympus Viewer 2 takes up more space. Because the size is 89.4 megabytes, and the size on disk is 89.9 megabytes. So, but the only thing, but the only down, ugh, but the only uh, drawback to the Canon software stuff is the fact that when I go to all this stuff, because, um, then, let's see, I'm trying to look, kind of, alright, it's good. So when I go to Canon, properties, the whole thing itself, for the whole software, everything in it, that's included, with all the different things that you get from that thing, with the packaging is 333 megabytes but the size on the disk is 337 megabytes so um, then with the Olympus it is trying to like I said is 95.0 megabytes but it takes up 95.5 megabytes on the disk. Which Olympus software, obviously, as you can see, does not take as much space. Which is some of the things, which is one of the advantage of the Olympus thing. But in reality, if you were to uh, compare all that stuff with the Olympus, it takes up more space for the Olympus Viewer 2 in the digital photo professional 
which is kind of frustrating. But then the uh, thing also comes with Image Browser EX, which I believe you can uh, upload photos to the internet and everything else. So it's a great package, but at the same time, you know, it takes up a lot of your disk space. Takes up, takes up. I guess you could say, overall, about a third of the gigabyte. Which, if you got a computer that's running low on its storage space and all that, it's gonna take, like, it's gonna take a while for it to load in. And another drawback to the thing is that it requires, well, I think both editing software requires at least, well, no, uh, the uh, Canon software requires at least 1024 by 768 pixels. So I can't, so if you're trying to, if you've got a computer with a resolution at 800 by 600 or you got the resolution set to that, you're going to need it higher or get, I'm just going to need to get a brand new computer. Okay, so yeah, that's the hard drive that's running. Hold on, let me go to Control Shift ESC, bring up Task Manager, I'm noticing that, right, C Cleaner, End Process. This way I am not taking up much space. I have no idea what the hell is going on here on it, why it's uh, doing all this. Test tray in process. Toaster.exe. Web. Oh, that's the Dell webcam. Damn. US utility. Da, da, da. Dell data safe update launcher. Damn, I swear. Um, so, like I said, um, overall, I believe that the, um, that if you take out the drawbacks and stuff, the, uh, in, in the digital photo professional does seem to be professional software and all that. You can do the same types of things somewhat as with the Olympus Bureau 2. In fact, you can do more stuff. So, like, for example, when I hit open, go to, click on one of these things, go to view, oops, edit image window, you have NR, noise reduction, ALO, which I have no idea what the heck that is. Um, lens, you can, uh, but what's funny is that the lens data only shows up when you have a Canon camera, I've noticed. Why? I have no idea. But let's, but how about I just close this out and I will stop the video. So, because I don't want to take too much space. We got three, me we got a three megabit per second internet. So when I upload it, it's going to take a while. So. Hope you had a great day. Check out my YouTube channel. It's Robert Lucas. Click on that link below. Oh, there, you know. Um, I've got lots of videos. If you haven't, if you haven't seen my uh, channel, go ahead and take a look at it. Um, there are videos you may enjoy. So, um, just check it out. I've got film production videos that I'm doing. That, like a preview to it, it's extremely funny too. Um, and so, just, I hope you guys have a great day, so, so hit, hit the like button if you liked it, hit the unlike button if, or hit the dislike button if you don't like it, subscribe, and subscribe for more, so, if you want to get the latest updates for, from videos, so, see you next time.